John Rambo's last ride, and it was. This is last blood. <laughs> you know what? You know what? There, there, there. I, I gotta tell this to the whole audience. When, whenever uh, a studio decides not to give out screeners, uh, just give out screeners to the critics and to some of the public, um, that's not a good sign. Very few times when a when a studio does that, they do it for a reason. Meaning they just don't. Meaning either they don't want the buzz about it, or it kind of does create a buzz about the movie. It that's kind of how Tyler Perry won a couple times. But but it, it, it when it happens, when you see no screener there, be prepared for it to be a bad movie, or at least a movie that doesn't function right, or a movie that look we don't know how to sell this shit. Let me put it to you. Let me put it to you gently, everybody. Geo Storm had a screener. <laughs> wow, guys! I think we're, I think we're all shocked, aren't we? We're all shocked. Um, this movie is amazingly bad. Me and Super shocked. I, didn't think of it. <laughs> I, I I'm shocked. <laughs> um, oh my god! So, Sue, you want to take it over on our thoughts when we walked out the theater from this film? <laughs> Yes. Oh, Jesus. All right, where do I even begin? <laughs> I mean, when we first like, when we first got out of the theater, and I remember saying to myself, so, huh, so that's it. Like, this, like the beginning of this movie. I mean, good, good Lord, this, this movie is... This movie's problematic. All right, very problematic. It's the first time I've heard. You, that's the first time I heard you say that word. By the way, sir. And you know what? Not only did he say it, he's accurate. Go ahead. <laughs> no, this movie's very problematic. Now I'm gonna go with the like I'm gonna go about this as constructive as possible. I I really don't have the energy or the patience or even like. Oh, I really don't. I don't have the energy or the patience for me to even try to think of any jokes that we normally do on our show, especially when something as bad as this. But no, I'm going at this as critical as possible. Number one, the beginning of this movie, I had a problem with it, especially when I look at it in like when you look at the full context of the movie itself. You want to know how you establish your bad guys? Look at Rambo 4. In the, in the very beginning of that movie, we get the crosstalk from the radio or television um, news broadcast are talking about the war in Burma and how much, you know, how much it's a, you know, a major, major problem in the country itself. You know, the, like people suffering, people being tortured, people, you know, like children are being taken away from their parents and being forced into fighting the war or they end up getting killed themselves. It's, you know, it's a mess. And so after you hear all that, you see this, uh, you see this military truck drops, like it stops in the middle of a freaking rice field. We see, you know, we see these people that were taken pretty much hostage slash prisoner and all that. We see the general. General's the main bad guy of this movie. This man, for the for the total of three minutes that that scene was, didn't utter a word. All we saw was this man. All we saw was this man was sitting in the front, smoking quite possibly the greatest pack of Burmese cigarettes. And what does he do? He has them do like Russian roulette like a Russian roulette relay race while throwing a bunch of live man uh, landmines into the water. They have to run through it and whoever, you know, like whoever runs through it and makes it or whatever, they, they basically place bets to see who gets blown up first. And then after, and then afterwards, just, just cause my man open, I mean, he doesn't do it, but his army opens fire and kill these people. Like just straight up murders them. Then we cut back to him. He's just stoic, quiet. Opening credits. Rambo. Enter Rambo. This is how you introduce your movie's villain. What did Rambo 5 do? Immediate jump cut. Immediate jump cut. 
showing. Sorry, I don't know if that was me. Anyway, it, what did Rambo 5 do? Immediate jump cut and shows again, random Mexican. As far as I'm as far as I'm concerned, I'm looking at this just from a first time perspective. Not knowing that this guy was one of the main villains, but the way that he presented himself, I'm like, dude, you could have been an underboss. You could have been freaking Shiva from Streets of Rage for all I know. You don't you didn't you didn't have that stage presence of being like the movie's villain, you know? Because any of these guys could have been like, you know what, I'm running this whorehouse and you know, Hey, one of my like one of my horrors got away, but we got her back. So let me make this grandiose announcement in full on Spanish that if any of you try to run away, I'll just straight up murder you and all that. Again, the fact that that scene was just dropped on us, and that's saying and like, that's saying a lot considering like women trafficking is a real thing and you could have really much like the Burmese thing in Rambo 4 you could have really highlighted that to where we can actually yeah. understand Rambo's plight of oh I'm saving my I'm saving my niece but I'm also going to save these girls from this women trafficking all right cool in in fact uh, and thank you CJ because that that also brings me back to my other point that. hey that's what barely did that. no but that's what that's what I was getting to that's what I was getting to see the other thing I was getting to was how like how can you set up your movie's villain for Rambo's five? I mean, for Rambo five, here's how you do it. In the very beginning, introduce introduce the you know the the real actual problem of human trafficking. Human trafficking is a real thing, and especially in places where you know where Amer- where the American government has no jurisdiction in, there's nothing that they can really do about it. Just shows how much of a problem that it really is. You show that part, then you show um, <laughs> you show the dude that's supposed to be Rambo's uh, Rambo's niece's um, father or whatever have that you know have that connection be brought to him, and then after that, once that's over and done with, once you show the movie's villains from the very beginning. In other words, I don't want to see Rambo for at least a good five minutes after the opening credits. And before you even do the opening credits, you establish establish the setting for us. Establish the setting for your audience. That was the problem that this movie had with that I had. So here's the kicker. You know what? There you was two what? there was I, two I, different I, I, there I was want... two different openings and I think me and D saw the same one. So me and Sue saw it in theaters and it cuts to Rambo on the ranch, right? So apparently and I watched it online. Overseas, they got a different opening where he's helping some people during a flood. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I saw. Yeah. He's, I saw the he's helping the people during a flood. And it kind of jump starts his PTSD flashback and stuff to like well, one, of, one of the people that died. And I'm like, okay. That's the, but that's the problem with the whole movie. The whole movie, even in that one, trust me, Eris, it's a way better beginning of the movie. But here's the thing. When you set a tone in the movie, you have to set a fucking tone. The reason why Rambo 4 was so fucking awesome was because of that. We saw this fucking villain. So you're, so you're immediately telling yourself, where does Rambo play at? How is he going to beat these people? How are they going to come across him? You're asking questions. You're intrigued. This movie, even with the, the beginning that we saw, Chris, didn't give you that. You're just like, okay, so uh, what's up? Does he just save people? What's going on? <laughs> Thanks, Rambo. It, Thumbs up. You know the other, you, you know the other problem. The, the, tone is, the tone is nowhere there, Eris. I know it's that's, not. You know, I totally agree with you. You didn't set no type of tone. And even when your villain showed up, I'm thinking to myself, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when you got like a um a, a new action um series that comes on, you know, like, you know, on on syndication and it's the first <laughs> episode. Hold on, and it's the first episode. And yeah, they're the villains, but you know the good guys are gonna win because this is his first episode. He's like, he's back and this it feels like it's on that level. Like, oh yeah, you know, the first episode. Okay, yeah, yeah. But he wasn't the main villain right now. No, no, he wasn't. That's how they feel. They like, feel like they just get knocked off. Like the easily. Martinez, Wait, like the Martinez brothers. Here's the thing. I'm not saying you got to have a big name, right, for your villain. No, 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 I'm no, not no, saying no, you no, do. No, 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 no. I already know what you're gonna say, and I can say to you, this is the best thing. 
you know where they are? They're grunts. They're all no, no, like see, I wasn't even going that way, right? <laughs> So one of the guys, one, one one of the grunts, I think Hugo Martinez, he's uh, Sergio Manchetta, and he's in Snowfall. He plays uh, one of the lead characters in Snowfall. He's the only one that I knew, like, by face, like, oh, that's the dude from fucking Snowfall. But, like, you don't give a shit about him as a villain because he's stock Mexican villain that's just there. You know, same, with yeah. his bro- same with his brother Victor, who apparently snorts coke and just dopes up fucking women that he traffics and stuff, and I'm like... Okay, c- cool. I guess. I guess that makes him evil, but like, you know do I care? Not really. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. And I, 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 I was thinking to myself, like watching this whole movie, how it was playing out. I was thinking, I was just saying, huh. I'm not saying that it used to be like that, but um, the the the, the, the kill count right now is at one, and <laughs> and it's an hour. It's been an hour. Come on, where are all the dead people at? I'm sorry if I'm thinking like that. Oh man, you can't think like that. You're trying to tell a story. Okay, I got a question. Rambo two and Rambo three. You didn't give a shit about the story. You didn't give a shit about the story. I mean, it they made all, you care oh! about. I mean, th- I mean, three. Uh, they, uh, three. Uh, they I tried disagree. to make you. The three. They tried to make you care about the Afghanistan shit to a, to a point, but yeah, you didn't. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah. Like, I, like I whole I wholeheartedly disagree because as much uh-huh. as I love. No, as much as I love Rambo, as much as I love Rambo 4, Rambo 2, in the original trilogy, honestly, 2 is, like, my favorite. Oh, 2 really? is my, two, two my favorite, too, man, to an yeah. even though two. I Even though I like 1 and 4 a little bit more, but, yeah, 2 is, like, low-key, like, yeah. pretty good. If you want me to be honest with you, for me, it's uh, Rambo 4, then it's Rambo 4, then it's the first Rambo. I'm sorry, I just love it. And then it's Rambo 2, and then it's Rambo 3. And now it's this Rambo as the <laughs> dead last one I don't fucking like. So, I'm from, like and you know, when you, like, from watching from watching this movie, like, I walked out of the theater and I, I said to Chris, I said, yo, let's go CJ. I totally understand why, so, like, why, like, what was it, five years ago, Stallone said, I'm done with Rambo. I don't think there's really a Who need pushed for him to for do this fifth one. I mean, it can't be money. Like, it couldn't he, be money. Like he came, like he came, like he came out. Of, he came out and said that he didn't want to do. He really felt as though he didn't need to make another movie. He said, "Look, Rocky was a different situation. Like in Rocky, he wanted Rocky to go home, and he got that with Rocky Balboa." He said, "He said for him to do this with Rambo, he would need a good story and a good reason." as to why he made it and why he would make it in the first place because again the same story that he told in this movie he told it in Rambo 4 in fact what made Rambo 4 so good is at the end you see him returning to America after living in Thailand for so long he finally returns home and literally he went home you didn't have to you really didn't need to tell an actual story you did not need to tell you didn't need to tell an extra story and if you're going to tell an extra story, it better be a good one. Give us a reason why we need to watch this one. Dude, first of all, I, I really hate to say this. Number one, the movie's villains. I did not care for them. You set up nothing. You set up nothing for me. You set up, like you set up absolute Nathan's hot dogs with these guys. These motherfuckers. Zero calorie ass fucking villains. <laughs> And hold on, and let me get let me get this out. You set up nothing for me with these characters. You even introduced side characters that really added nothing to the like nothing to the movie's overall plot. And shout number shout out and, and say that and say that, Eric. Shout out to the stock. Who was that? Her cousin or her? That was, was her that? friend. Her that friend Giselle. Friend. Yeah. Yeah. How did you like the stock Latina gangster? With the hair, with the hair going up like that, and the, oh my god, like really? Connie's Con, Connie's cousin from fucking King of the Hill and shit. Yeah, I'm like, yo, man, that's yeah, a- yeah, the the straight up, um, Jesus, I mean, dude, she was straight up chola. I mean, <laughs> yeah. stereotypical straight chola. Up. You can't, you can't go back to Mexico. You can't leave Mexico mad and going home. I'm like, R- really, really, you're laying it on thick, there, lady. And then, and then on top of that, not only, then, on, I mean, then, on, then besides her, 
being straight up stereotype. Oh God, Rambo's niece Giselle, dude, this character, this character was such a walking victim. I said, I said, I said throughout, you know, throughout the whole movie, I'm like, oh my God, this girl needs to walk around with a bolt, like with a freaking target bullseye on on the back of her shirt, the front of her shirt, yep. and on both sides of her freaking I mean, head. She because well, too. you know what, you, no, you know what did it for me? No, because I've yeah. never seen. No, 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 because I did not understand. Look, there is. There's making a character that's naive, and then there's laying it on so thick. So we're, thick. We're talking about, dude. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking putting a like putting half of a boulder on the accelerator of a car thick. I mean, her mom, her like Rambo's telling her, "Don't go to Mexico to see your dad." Her aunt is telling her, "Don't go to Mexico to see your dad." You know, and she goes down there and. What do you know? Her dad is basically a piece of shit because that's that's what he is. Okay, fine, hey, cool. Hey CJ, yo, hey, even, hold on. Hey CJ, oh. hey, hey CJ, can I enter? Uh, can I ask a question about that? Mm. Hi, DJ Sue Three Black Geeks. Okay, I get it. You have a niece. Awesome, cool. Hey Rambo, um, at any point in time, where, when was your sister introduced? I know, oh, right? Where? <laughs> No, no, please, hold on, hold on, explain that to me. Number two, uh, how come we didn't get no footage? There was no, there was no, um, no flashback footage of any of your remaining family that was still around. He just got hurt, his he dad, his picture. dad gave him the farm, that was about pictures. it. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got an old picture, but that still didn't establish, to me, that didn't, that wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, this is when it happened for me. When she came, when they was down in the cave. He's like, yeah, you used to drew that. He's like, yeah, you drew that. Yeah, I remember that. Here's me. She's dead. <laughs> I mean, Dude, first oh. of all, first of all, I had no. Hold on. I see. You said she's dead at that point. No, here was my like. like this was uh, this was my this was my I like being a live theme song playing for her. I'm gonna miss riding with you, Uncle John. I'm gonna miss riding with you too. Mm. She- Meanwhile, meanwhile, my naive behind was like, you know when it hit me? When she was convinced by her friend to go to the club that night, I was like, oh, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, you're dead. (laughs) See, (laughs) you know, hey, 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 when that uh, dude put the uh, roofie in there, you know what I'd yell? Cosby. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, dog, because here's the thing about that club scene, right? Now, I don't complain about club scenes and stuff because I, I recently just rewatched um Collateral, right? And they showed that club scene with Tom Cruise shooting up everybody. Dope scene. The thing about this scene that was throwing me off was the strobe lights flashing and shit. So it fucked my eyes up a little bit. So when he put the roofie inside there, so I'm like, she didn't notice that? Like, But then again, she was looking around, lost to shit like she didn't want to be there. So, okay, fine. Well, it was more... No, 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 CJ, because I saw you, first of all. <laughs> okay. Not to, like, not, I fell asleep. Not all right, yeah, I was full disclosure. Say, I nodded off a couple times during this movie. Yeah. Right? Hey, not, hold on, hold on, yes. hold on, hold on. Not to, hold on. Let me, let me go ahead and say. Let me go ahead and say. Our first day, like a, like the first showing of this, CJ. We're not even about. I would say we're about twenty, twenty five minutes in. CJ is nodding off. My man was done, and and I, I, I said, w- I woke up when Rambo uh, <laughs> killed those people inside that saw, uh, thing. And I started, and, I, and it started to hit me. I said, "You know what? I noticed that CJ is nodding off. This is already a bad sign. You're nodding off at a Rambo movie. So, right. so not only is this not, not only is this not a good thing, I totally understand why. Like, I woke up at the brothel. Like, that that no, the, 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 the no, screaming on, and on. yelling. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, hold on, because I got you, CJ. You, CJ was like everybody else who went to see this movie." You fell asleep. You're nodding off. You are watching this movie just to get to the third act that you know is coming. That third act was... The third act was like getting a blowjob and then you come too quick. Now, see, my... uh, Now, my pop-off... Like, the pop-off that made me... That genuinely made me laugh is... uh, as gut-riching as it was, but it was quick. See, 
when a gun hold on when a gun butt doesn't when a gun butt doesn't happen in the movie <laughs> hold, on, hold on hold see <laughs> see D, you already laughing but let me get it out when a gun butt doesn't happen in this movie i will happily accept a hammer to the dick bro bro let, yes. let me tell you let me tell you something man when he got into that brothel and i heard a yell and i woke up i was like what the fuck's happening and rambo has a hammer i'm like okay oh boy let's go <laughs> I mean, Rambo walks in. Like the setup was perfect because he just rolls in there. Like, all right, I know what to do. I'm not gonna take a my gun. Man, I'm not gonna, yo, yo, I'm out, not gonna take time, a gun. Time out, my man grabbed the fucking condom and the towel and everything <laughs> prepared. Like Rambo was gonna do something. I'm like, wow. They took the time to show him getting the condom and everything before everything popped off. I laughed so yo, hard. Hold on. Now, I laughed so hard because not only did all of that mayhem ensue, but <laughs> like you said, he, grabbed, he handed him the condom and the towel and, and, and all the other stuff. And my man just goes off on him. First, first of all, my man, <laughs> like Rambo said, I'm not going to use not going to use the Bowie knife, not going to use a gun. <laughs> I'm not using nothing else. I'm rolling like my man. My man, my man, John Quincy Rambo rolls in there. He rolled in there with Stanley. Man, listen, like, I never knew a hammer could do that much damage, and I learned the lesson right there. I was like, holy shit. Stanley. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. He called it. He said Stanley, you know Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 What the best kill for me? Actually, it, I'm sorry. It was just the whole last 10 minutes because the whole movie sucked to me. <laughs> I, I hated everything. I totally hated everything about because let me just be real. This, this is not taken. This I'd rather watch Taken though. 3 than this fucking movie. That's that's bad. Yeah, that's sad. Exactly. That's sad. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, why? Well, all right, look. I'm not saying that you can't have this subplot about about human trafficking. Yeah, most certainly you can, and most certainly you can hear all the points. It's just that this ain't a Rambo movie. <laughs> it's just a guy <laughs> whose name now happens to be Rambo. <laughs> now the problem. Now the pro- now hold on. See. As much as everyone will more than likely say this isn't a Rambo movie, the sad truth is, with a little bit of editing, this could have been a good Rambo movie. Exactly, because I I agree with you, because the, that's why I said the last 10 minutes, because something was actually happening. And what really kills me about it is that... Um, I was watching the whole day, you know, he's just watching these niggas, like, you know, me when I play, like, horde mode or some shit. And... He's like, you know, he's killing these dudes off, you know, getting everything off. And finally, I'm just thinking to myself, because the main villain is so lame to me. He's over there talking shit to this nigga. He's like, yeah, yeah, you want to make it out? Follow the light. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, how did this motherfucker survive anyway? Oh, no, no. He had a armor up until he got up in that barn. <laughs> hold on. First, hold up. I got one. No, I got an even better. I'm like, a serious plot armor. Cause he, I got it. Because... He sucks. He sucks. I'm no, no, sorry. No. D, D, hold on. I got one even better for you because I went back and saw this movie the second time and I brought our good buddy uh, Jason to watch this movie. Sue paid $13 oh, cash that? money. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a good thing. See, he actually bought both of our tickets. Oh, and wow. I just, <laughs> and I, $6 cash money. <laughs> and I just did not... <laughs> And I just did not, I just did not have it in me to say that I had already watched this movie. But because we had watched it so late, I wanted to see it again with a fresh mind. Where I figured, okay, maybe I need to watch this movie the second time to like fully, quote unquote, appreciate it or or get it. No, it it didn't help. If anything, it made it worse. So the second time... (laughs) So here, here's something. I, here was something I pointed out, and he also pointed out um, at the third act. Oh, uh, after you know, after after one of the Martinez brothers finds the other one dead, right? 
and he decides, okay, I'm going to pull a Sosa. He pulls a Sosa from Scarface by bringing his, into, I'm sorry, and I'm using this, I'm using the term very loosely here, by using, by bringing his quote unquote entire army up to Rambo's house. He figures, hey, man, he pulls, Thursday, cool, man. <laughs> he pulls, he figures, hey, like he figures, hey, he pulled up on my house twice. I'm gonna pull up on his. Not, of course, he's doing this not knowing that, dude, you are about to pull up on an ex-Vietnam vet named John, <laughs> John Lavarvich Rambo, with Home Alone traps and montage with <laughs> traps. First of all, and, and first of all, first of all, the uh, the other problem. Dude, why is the main villain taking point? He taking point. And I'm like, yo, none of y'all niggas touched Rambo once. Rambo got hurt because he missed time shit and he's 79 goddamn years spoilers, old. Spoilers. Spo- so like spoilers on hit. this. Spoilers on this. The movie didn't have the dignity to give us a final fight between Rambo and the main guy. That's what kind of pissed me off. Yeah. I yeah, was I, like, pointed that, I pointed that out too. I pointed that out too. Not only hey, you're right, like, but here's the funny thing though. Here's the funny thing though. You're right, but no, good, good. <laughs> good. I mean, first, no, 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 not only, no, no, CJ. I mean, no, I'm sorry, D. No, you're wrong on that. It's not good because I wanted to see. I wanted to see what Rambo himself mentioned in the movie, which was, I'm sorry, he what he mentioned in the trailer. My past has come back to me, and I gotta face it. What past? What Thank you. fucking past? Thank you. Thank <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna get what this. Past? What past? What? Where? 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 Yeah. Everyone, pl- me, everyone, please listen. Everyone that's listening to this, please, please understand. At some point during the time of this movie's trailers, he says that my pa- he says I have to face my past. He's face he, when he's facing his past. I'm like, dude, what part of your past are you facing? Because as far as I'm concerned, everyone that you knew from you know from the uh, from the first movie all the way up to the fourth is already past. The fucking lieutenant yeah. from the second one where he shot up the room is gonna come back to haunt him. I don't, I don't fucking know. Like, no. <laughs> because no. all of, because didn't everybody in your life tell you, John, it's okay, John, it's okay, John, it's okay, mm. except for the fourth one. And the fourth one, it was like, good, do you want me to help these Christians? And then, and then you see, like, somebody get beheaded. Oh, right. No, and he, and, and, no and, actually, and, and, no, 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 D, no, C. Oh, you got it wrong with the fourth one. The fourth one, it was, when you're pushed, killing's as easy as breathing. And also, Brother Rock told him, don't kill anymore after everything was done. <laughs> yeah. This is one of my best cameos of this uh, Brother Rock, by the way. That's one of my best. I'm sorry, yo, dog. The fact that the <laughs> highlight of the fourth one was that missionary saying, I guess God told me I got to kill somebody. Here's a rock. Bam! I'm like, well, you kill for God, dude. How does it feel? <laughs> that, that expression on his face after using Brother Rock is priceless. When you invoke Brother Rock, you must invoke him with power. And look, you gotta smash the fuck out of somebody's head with all with that shit. That's what was missing from Rambo Five last blood was Brother Rock, man. Rambo couldn't even hit it now, up just out of the rock. You know, you know the other problem, and here's the other problem with the with the fourth movie's third act. You see Rambo lining up those playing cards and using the bow and arrow from that barn. To take those those four shots, the exact same four shots that he used on the Martinez brother, right? So not only does he do the exact same thing to him, but he already told him what he was gonna do. Where he said, "I want you to feel everything, my hate, my sorrow, my pain, when I cut open your chest and rip out your heart." And he did it, and I was like, "Son of a bitch, he fucking did it! God damn it!" So when you said that, so so hold on, and that, and that was the other problem. He already telegraphed what he was going to do to this guy. So the whole time that he said that, you know that you know that nothing else matters at that point. At that point, nothing else matters. I'm like, dude, I'm like Rambo. If you don't do it, then that just proves to me that you're just full the of movie, it. The movie would have went up a but a notch if he never said that. 
I would be like, oh exactly. shit, like oh, and that's the fuck. thing. See, and, and hold on, and you see, and you want to know why the the, uh, the dynamic or lack of dynamic between uh, Rambo and General Tint from the f- from the fourth movie is that Rambo and the General never met on screen until like together until the end when he just straight up shivved him with that knife. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, you know, it's kind of funny, man. Rambo four is very underrated. It's very underrated by a lot of people, man. It's really good. <laughs> it's really fucking good. It does every setup very well for an action movie, man. But here's the thing. When he straight up, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, my nigga, here's the thing. It's just that he let in with that dumb on cashew fucking speech <laughs> with my head, my anger, my love. <laughs> Shiny <laughs> finger. He did pull the he did pull the dome on cash. God, that Yo, was crap. Man, I, nigga, I died. I was like, okay. Anyway, so <laughs> it was, it's just that when he just stuck his hand in his chest, I'm like, no. <laughs> and here's the kicker: I'm laughing because I'm sitting next to Sue, and I'm play- I'm literally fucking humming. I'm humming the fucking old snake theme from Metal Gear Solid Four because that's how the fucking movie is when he gets in a goddamn rocking chair. <laughs> War has changed. I mean, we really. And you know, and and even Jason, like even my buddy Jason said as a dude, even if he no. were to die, no, even if it were to show him, quote unquote, in that rocking chair, holding on to his bullet wounds and all that, and like we see the rocking chair rock, and then that shot of the that undershot of the rocking chair rocking, right? I said, you know, imagine if he had died like right there. He died, and he pretty much died at his house. We see the rocking chair stop rocking. And, like would that have helped the movie? He said no. If anything, like if anything, you all you would have already taken, you would have already made a weak ending even weaker. No, it's, boy. like it's such a weak ending. It doesn't because you're trying to do this grand death, and it's like you didn't earn none of that. He gets on a horseback and says that. the war continues. I'm like to who? Who the fuck are you going to war with, dude? <laughs> That's why, look, look, when they said that this movie was going to have a Mexican cartel, the first thing that came in my mind was like, all right, the cartel is going to come in this place, probably do some sex trafficking, and all of a sudden Rambo's like, look, can't start doing it no more. And they just like, you know, destroy your shit because, you know, they the um, Mexican cartel. And finally, they, they just don't know who they fucking with, and it's Rambo. The trailer made it seem that way, if you want to be real about exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Rambo snaps. He's going to downtown Mexico City snapping heads, you know, doing bully shit because that's what he do. You know, I'm thinking that's what he's going to fucking do. This shit took its fucking time to tell you a story that I'm going to be very, very real. You don't give a shit about. You don't give a shit about. And then at the end of the movie, you're saying, well, that's how it ends. Okay. (laughs) Move. Ladies and gentlemen, Rambo that started off with a really, really, really strong first movie talking about what happens when a Vietnam vet snaps and can't get out of war mode to a very stock-ass movie. That's probably what's the most insulting part about it. You know what? It re- you movie. you want to you want to know what it was? What it re- like, like? You want to know what it really was, D? All right. First of all, whose phone is that? It's not my phone. It's probably mine. What's up? Anyway, you want to know what it really is? Um, seeing that final that final third act of Rambo, pretty much setting up Home Alone traps and all that. <laughs> I felt like this. I felt like this was the. Mm, this was probably a ten year old. It was a ten year old late. DLC that should have been added to the end of the fourth movie. This was gives more judgment. <laughs> yeah. How oh, do you like man. you know cuz no cuz seriously, you do not care given the pacing and the setup for this movie. If anything, especially if you're trying to tell a story that this is like the last Rambo movie in the franchise, <clears throat> what you could have done was made the movie longer. 
but mm-hmm. but in now hold on don't now don't get me wrong i'm not saying keep the same pacing and say and, and all that crap that you know of making that movie as bad as it is just making it longer no 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 you make the movie longer and you tell a well thought out compelling story and you have and you have stallone direct it just like how he directed the fourth one yeah i think the mistake was like the guy that that's directing this movie he directed and it's weird um it was adrian grunberg he's the one that did um wall street money never sleeps decent sequel to wall street but nothing to really write home uh, about and stuff but it like was, it was it was decent but it just it was kind of one of those like that's a sequel that happened Okay. Yeah, it's like nothing happened to it. You're like, okay, that was it. Why did you even do it? You know, yeah, yeah that was the thing. It's like, and, 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 and I saw, and, I, and the thing that sucks about Rambo is that, like, I've seen a lot of articles where they're saying, like, you know, we, you know, some of these people, some of these 80s action heroes need to get the fuck out of pocket now and stuff, and, you know, they're kind of going on on this newest Terminator, which I kind of get, but I think the newest Terminator might be better than last blood which isn't a really a big you know thing to really cross and stuff in terms of being better but you know i, I look look i i kind of get it in a way that the older older these older action stars need to stop i totally get that but uh, i don't know man i don't know like what's what to doing this I mean, I mean, make your movie, but at the same time, it's like, if you're going to make the movie, it has to be good. And that's what makes me worried about Stallone saying he wants to do another Rocky. And I'm like, and you just did Last no. Blood? No. Mm. No. no. Especially, uh, he, uh, no, he just did Last Blood after he had just said, like, nearly a decade ago that you didn't want to do it anymore. And then on top of that, you try to push this this narrative of... Especially, especially when the movie was already greenlit to be made, you wanted to give Rambo this cowboy esque image. Like you really wanted to push this image, just because at some point in time, uh, Stallone, you were watching John Wayne movies, and you wanted to give Rambo that. And and, and I get it. We see we see the whole Rambo being a cowboy doing the whole John Wayne thing in the beginning of the movie, and I was still wondering how is this going to be connected to you know, human trafficking. Like, I'm really interested in seeing how this, uh, how this is all put together. The other problem with this, the other problem I also want to mention from the movie's third act, how about the fact that in the end, Rambo really had nothing to fight for in the process of setting up these Home Alone traps? It was literally, hey, they're going to come to there because they know my address because they took my driver's license. So they're going to come. No, see, but here's the thing. Even if they came, for one thing, I, and I have to agree with my buddy Jason on this. It would have made more sense for for his niece to not die, like like have her not die, or better yet, you can't take her. You just like you barely get her out of Mexico. You sneak back across the border, and you're trying to take care of her from you know from your home. Yeah, that would have been more tension filled. Like, oh, I gotta protect this home from these guys that are trying to shoot up everything. All right, cool. Exactly, exactly. See, first of all, you had, you know, you, you had her. Um, who was it? Like, you had her aunt or whatever. You already took care of her by saying, you know what? I want you to stay at your sister's house. Just go over there. There's nothing for you here. There's nothing for me here. AKA, I'm gonna set things up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna booby trap this place. And even if I, even if I don't survive, it's not going to matter because. Oh yeah, but because, uh, yeah, well, hey, by the way, I, I like that day too. You know, okay. either way, either way, it's not going to matter because I'm going to straight up napalm the front yard. <laughs> and <laughs> this nigga literally napalmed the fucking yard. I'm mm. like, yo, we firebombing the shit out of these niggas. I'm like, he yo, nap- bro, he look, napalm. Look, look. Go ahead, Dean. I was gonna like, yo, look, real talk, all these traps is good, but real talk, Rambo, there's like twelve dudes. You could 
I mean, he didn't. You know, the the problem, and that was the other problem is, I get it. You're an old war vet, and the fact that this is old man Rambo doing his thing. But you want to know what made all the other previous Rambo movies awesome is the fact that we got to see Rambo himself just take out dudes, you know, like against Solo. It was build up to it, too. It was build up to it instead of just instead of just introducing the cannon fodder that is these I mean that is these uh these freaking Mexican grunts going in. First of all, the moment they all ran into that hole which led into the tunnels, I'm like, dude, you are all dead. Oh. Dude, they were dying on some like just like, hey guys, watch your surroundings and oh you didn't see that big ass tripwire there? Okay, okay, cool. I guess. I say, Yo, hey. Audience, audience that's about to watch this movie, get used to the sound of. <laughs> you know, you know something. See, now we say, now hold on, we say we we really we say Home Alone traps. In reality, these were I mean, these were the traps to take out Snake and Metal Gear Solid Three. I mean, yeah, these are yeah. like Paul Kersey from Death Wish Three levels of traps. Like, oh shit! Like fucking nails embedded into him and stuff. Like, dude, now, dude. how about? Oh, how about every, oh, how about every time these guys got caught by the traps or literally killed by these traps? What does Rambo do? Make sure that the double tap is extremely real and over the top as possible. Dude, okay, there's a trap where these guys fall into the fucking MK2 pit, right? And they're dead. There ain't no fucking way to get out of that. Rambo sits there and empties a fucking a clip into both of them. I'm like, what was the point of that? He emptied a machine gun clip into the bodies that were already. Are they gonna get up and walk around like spikes. fucking zombies and shit? What the fuck? Like it was Walking Dead? Like what do you think was gonna happen? Then, yeah, then like, the other, no, 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 then the other, no, I was like, nigga, just throw a grenade in there. Be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, ER, you might as well say he. Well, you know what? It's funny you say that because not only did he have that front claymore already set up for like a group of three guys, and how and how'd you like how he held on to that wire? He is gripping the crap out of that wire. I'm like, dude, you want to pull it so bad? Just pull it. Go ahead and pull it. Go like go no. overkill. You no, know, as a matter of fact, and when you pull it, I want you to like I want you to turn around with a shotgun and empty the entire barrel into those oh, guys. Yeah, different shotgun just bullets, by the way. He had phosphorus ones. He had the fucking. Yeah. He had different ones. I'm like, okay, well, he didn't make them, so yeah. Now the thing. I will now, say this. This is a great and also, hold on. And also, because of John Wick, because of John Wick, like me and CJ have to do this every time. Anytime a dude brings up a shotgun in the movie, and we see him load the bullets, I'm lo- I'm leaning over to CJ and I'm going, "I'm a piercing bullet." No bullshit. None of the motherfuckers. His thing. How do you roll up in the fucking Rambles compound with no bulletproof vest? I'm not well, saying it was gonna help, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Dude, look, they weren't prepared for, like like we said. Look, like here's the day. <laughs> here's the real here's the real day. The second the napalm went off, I went and like, yo, let's leave. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> this nigga ain't to be fucked with. Just get the bazooka and shoot the house. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> you know what? You know what the you know, Good lord, D. See, stop introducing better ideas to make this movie even better. <laughs> because, because honestly, they could have pulled that scene from uh, from the first transporter where they had a rocket launcher aimed directly at the house, and we see him trying to take care of his niece. And because you know, because uh, this is Rambo, and and for some reason he's got that ability to be like Jason Statham, he can hear. Though he can hear the RPG flying directly at his house, he grabs his niece and literally hightails it out of the house just before it gets blown up. In glorious CGI. <laughs> and again, he had nothing to fight for. He really had nothing to fight for. It's like it, instead, it's just okay. I know these guys are coming to my house. I'm gonna matter of fact, just to make sure that they come to my house, I'm gonna set up these Home Alone traps. Then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. And I'm going to I'm going to go back to a character, which, by the way, I felt this character was um, misused. Mis, not, I'm not going to say miscast, but just misused the purpose of this character. Um, a lot of people, when you watch this character in the beginning, like especially if it's your first time seeing it, you're going to have the same thought processes of of like 
my friends and anyone else who probably went to see this movie. Oh, this character, she's got to be like some kind of agent, you know, <laughs> ATF, D, like a DEA agent or something wow. undercover. She notices. Dude, I totally forgot about her. You know, I totally forgot about her. You, you're you thinking that this is, you know, this is what her character is going to be because she comes and helps Rambo. Like, look, I'm part of it. You know, I got, a, I got this operation going on and I noticed that you... We're trying to take down these guys. Look, here's what's going to happen. None of that. What is she? A journalist. Nothing. And like, yo, I'm like, no, when, she, when you find out, here's me, gee, I hope this really just brings the whole plot to get nothing. Apparently, apparently, apparently she's a reporter for the Time Magazine and shit, and she does nothing except do... She does her character, she does her character didn't even shoot a gun. I was expecting something. You know it's like, huh. you know, where her character was there for. John, listen, it's dangerous. You can't. That's why she was there. Like you because mourn. You, like you mourn. Somebody there. Basically, you mourn, accept it, and then you move on. It's done. I'm just and of course, John. Now, John being John. When is it ever done? I'm just I'm just laughing at the fact that John had these fools in the underground and he's playing the doors five to one. And I'm just I'm sitting there like sorry, uh, I'm sorry though. I'm getting sick of all this Vietnam poetry. When is it ever done? Dead, when dead. you leave the jungle. Nothing is over <laughs> Now now I did laugh by the way, see Jay, because cut it off. Like I did laugh by the way, CJ, when he was playing that music, and I'm like, yeah, these Vien- this is Vietnam era music right here. It was funny, but you know, I'm gonna go ahead and start a meme. The moment he, the moment you hear him push the button to play, and everyone is re, you know, everyone is reacting to the music. So in my mind, I'm thinking of like five to ten different songs that he could have just played. Like the moment he pushed play. And the music starts playing, and my like he like for example he pushes play right, and in my mind I'm hearing this. It's five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that T Pain song, five yep. o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right, for me, for me, you know what I heard? Cotton candy paint is gone. Let me see the. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. The fact that this movie ended. With John sitting up there saying, "I'm gonna continue to fight," and I'm sitting there like, "With who? Ooh. Are you are you Snake? Are you the Diamond Dogs now? Are you forming the Diamond Dogs at this point? Is this, is this where we're going? That movie? I'm assuming Apparently. that's what's happening right here. I mean, the moment I mean, the moment he got on that horse and rolled off in the sun. <laughs> I was waiting for a flaming off. dude to come out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> the moment he got on that horse and decided to ride off into the sunset, I'm like. And at that point, ladies and gentlemen, Rambo created Outer Heaven. <laughs> Are you serious? Sins of the Father? Yeah. <laughs> the sins of the Father. No, no, no. no. no actually, no, the perfect song. <clears throat> the, perfect, <clears throat> the perfect song for me. And I'm not even trying to meme it up, but... No, the perfect song would have been since we're since we're going Metal Gear Solid would have been Nuclear from Metal Gear Solid Five. <laughs> yep. Like standing on the edge of the future. <laughs> All of a sudden, Gabriella comes back as quiet and shit. I'm like, where the fuck this come from? Movie. <laughs> yo, yo, check this out. Check this out. What much like? with Stallone and all those action guys of the 80s and to the 90s um, doing, you know, Vietnam jungle movies. It's with us. We're always referencing these movies to Metal Gear Solid in some type. This movie leaned, this movie leaned heavy into Metal Gear Solid. I don't care what anybody fucking says. I didn't, I didn't think it would. I didn't think it would outside of a couple of me just memeing a couple of things, but yo... No, for real, nigga. I'm surprised. <laughs> I swear to God, we're going to get a Rambo 6 next year, and it's going to him forming a fucking paramilitary group. And I'm like, okay, you went full Metal Gear, didn't you, Slow Stallone? Who put you up to this? But here's, but here's the thing. They be, like, fighting in Uganda and shit, and it's, like, a really, really good plot. Here's this. He saved the Rambo franchise. I can't believe it. 
No, no, just no, 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 but see, I'm turning around. I'm no, like, but, no, no, but, no, but, but hold on. Wait, no, I got it. I got it. CJ. I got this. No, see, you're mentioning all this stuff, uh, like D. But check this out. All the stuff we're gonna see in the trailer, none of that's gonna be in the movie. Exactly. Just oh, like, yeah. just like, okay, just well. like MGS Five. I mean, it's basically gonna be a situation where it's like Sloan. So you just went full circle and made Expendables, but serious. <laughs> You made the no. You made the Expendables with only Rambo. I mean, and look, the third third Expendables movie was all right and stuff. I think they they leaned too much on the seriousness instead of the goofiness of the second one, which would have worked. But whatever. No, see, and, and that was the problem. And that was again, it goes back to my problem with that third act, dude. Stallone, you fought Van Damme. You fought freaking Mel Gibson. You didn't even throw a punch at this. Mel guy. Gibson gave him some business for a hot second. I was like, all right, this is actually a decent fight. You know, fine. But this dude, it's like, you shot fucking Oliver Queen over here sitting up there, pew, pew, pew. okay, you have filled this city, you know, and then I'm like, okay, okay. where's the and fight? How'd you like the, no, better yet, how'd you like the fact that he did a straight up nod to First Blood Part 2 when you see him walking, he pulls out his signature knife, right, doing the same thing that he was going to do to Charles Napier, um, you know, the only thing I was, the only thing missing, of course, was him going, mission accomplished. And then he just stabs right into the dude's chest. Of course, that's what we thought we were going to get when it came to Rambo 2. We thought, hey, not only did you leave me for dead, and you honestly could have got me killed, and the fact that you were trying to cover up the, the fact that you know that there are more POWs out there, and you were tr- and you were going to do nothing about it. We got, you know, it made sense for him to just straight up scare him in the, at the end of the second movie. In this movie, he does that same slow walk up, not saying a word. And he actually straight up stabs the guy just to rip his heart out. And and again, it would have been good. It would have been good if he had just taken the same formula that he took where he got on the radio and said, Murdoch. I'm coming for you. Yeah. That's um, that's it. Only thing we got that was is get, hey, good luck getting out the tunnels while it blows up. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, I guess. It's, you know, it's of light. Instead, of, <laughs> instead of instead of just, instead of saying follow the light, and not only instead of saying follow the light, but the fact that you just told him straight up what you were gonna do. I'm like, dude. See, can you imagine? Again, I'm going back to First World Part 2. Can you imagine if he got on the radio and said, Murdoch, I'm going to scare you by stabbing a knife next to your face? I mean, he telegraphed it pretty fucking hard. And I'm like, he super telegraphed it. Yeah. And then, like, look, and then what he does, like, I tell you that shit before I came in the room. I mean, I, I, I saw what you did there, D. That was good. <laughs> Rambo, Rambo. <laughs> I mean, it's just it, it, like I said. The movie overall, you're just sitting back like, uh, okay, like I, I don't know whether somebody just get rolled up to Sly Stallone's house and gave him a lot of money to do this movie. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I, I, opportunity. And I, look, look. Here's the funny thing about Stallone. There's a bit of ego with Stallone. If there's a challenge for him, like people, like people are doubting him, he'll be like, "Let me do something more active. Let me do something more serious." You know, he'll he'll challenge it. Oh, you can't do another Rocky. Oh, I will. It'd be really good. And I'll do a little spinoff. Get a nigga in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I- no, 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 D. Uh, you got no, D. You got to. Uh- yeah, you heard me. You heard me. Yeah, you heard me. You gotta. You oh always God. gotta make. Sh- you always gotta make sure that he ends it with. It's gonna be great. Now, now what? Now when he, God man, see again. Uh, going back, I also want to go back to something you said uh, earlier, early in this review, CJ, where Gabrielle, when she finds her father, and. She just she just straight up asked the question. Why did you leave us? Look, just tell me why did you? Why? When he when he just 
walked up to her. My man took an extra step forward and just blasted it right there in her face. I like and, how he did that shit too. Uh, he was like, he's like, okay. The reason why I left was because I didn't want you and I couldn't stand your fucking mom. <laughs> oh my god. So <laughs> she dies and leaves me with you. Who I Please never say. hold on, hold on. Leaves me with you, who I never wanted. We said that I was like I was like, okay, so the kid baby Tumbo just like blocked all of your sunshine. So <laughs> You want to go home now? Because I just like how that nigga just flipped it off. Like, hey, hey, I like, yeah, hey, hey, how you doing? It's like, okay, okay, okay. So you want the trip right now, baby? Because for real, I've been waiting to say this shit. I mean, his All ex-wife, right. I mean, his new wife was kind of looking at Gabrielle like, what the fuck you doing here? <laughs> like, like, who yeah. is you? Hey, hey, Chris, that's like the reverse of when Heifer wanted to know his real dad. And he showed up. He was like, hey, you know what I Like, get back, Sheila. Is that mom? No. No, no. Nah, your like, mom's that's not your mom. Uh-huh. Your mom's a car seat in Illinois. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, like, he's one of them fathers. Like, why did you find me? <laughs> why did you find me, bitch? <laughs> I was living my life. Now, the sad part, <laughs> now, hold on. The sad part, sad part is, she after he had walked up to her and said, now, any other questions? You don't have to come back here anymore. And just closes the door. As she's walking away, crying, here's me. <sighs> okay, let me go ahead and get the memes out. She gonna cry in the car. She looks at her friend. How come he don't want me, man? <laughs> I mean, because it's no, like, cause it's, it's, no, and it's just some. Hey, no, 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 no. Here's the real, here's the real thing. So, was, so I hope it was worth it because you about to be. Uh, I hope it was worth it because so, you about to be in traffic for the next four hours <laughs> trying to get back to the United States. Hope it was worth it, baby. <laughs> I mean, it, that's 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 what made the whole thing just surreal as hell. Because I'm like, you don't want her to go back home. Okay, this is a trap. Okay, cool. It's like it's dark. Like it's dark. It's too late. You're upset. Like dude, and? she <laughs> dude, she rolled up in a Honda hatchback. I think she'll be fine getting across the border. I mean, you gotta worry about people like me or white people who will get kidnapped at a moment's fucking notice. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. These are, these are I mean, first, of, I mean, first of all, you roll up in here, cute little, you know, cute little, like cute little, fresh out of high school, uh, Mexican girl rolling up into El Barrio. I mean, she looked naive as shit anyway when she came in. When she pulled up there and them dudes were standing outside, I was like, oh boy, this ain't gonna end well. And then, like I said, the fact that her friend was part of it, I was like, man, your friend wasn't shit. <laughs> Dude, she saw that bracelet and was like, well, he said, well, I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm about to sell out. In fact, that was the Spongebob meme right there. Well, yep. all right, well. I'm ahead of. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, I'm lowering my score. Don't from the, this movie. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm sitting, dude, dude, I'm sitting at a four out of ten on this goddamn movie. This movie is a straight up two for me. <laughs> and here's the word. I, look, look. This is not a fun, bad movie for me. That's, That's the thing. The, it could have been a fun, bad movie where I'm like, all right, cool, yeah, fine. Not at all. Not at all. It's not even trying. That's why it gets a two for me. That's just me being real. That's me being passionate for some shitty, shitty, shitty quality work from Stallone. And I felt like I was robbed. So, yeah, it gets a two for me. <laughs> I mean, because how, how, how is it that his directed DVD movies do better than this movie that's sad that's fucking sad because I mean, for one thing um for my score i'm sitting at a five and a half and and the reason why i'm sitting at five and a half is this movie has so much potential there was so much potential with proper to, proper editing could have saved this movie but it's this this really was a case of I'm making this movie because apparently I lost a bet at some point. <laughs> I won't blame this on Arnold because Arnold probably put his ass up to this shit too. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. Arnold probably did put him up to it because Arnold probably because uh, you remember there was that picture 
there's a picture that was floating around not a few months, like probably not even a month or two ago, of Arnold Stallone and Dolph Lundgren. They were all hanging out together, mm-hmm. and and this was recent. They were hanging out together. I'm willing to bet you at some point in time, Schwarzenegger probably whispered not directly to Stallone, but to Dolph freaking Lundgren that, I oh, yes, I'm uh, I'm making Commando too. Okay, I guess I do Rambo Five. <laughs> like, no, 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 hold on, now no, hold on, now no. hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Yeah, Mickey Rambo too. I, I, I just spoke to Alyssa Milano, and she's happy to do the movie. Yeah, I, uh, it's going to be good. Planet, it's the Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood, sir. No, for me, it was more like uh, so. It's like, yeah, yeah, like, it feels good. It feels good. I, I, I just told them James Cameron going to be in the new, new Terminator. I get to be my character again. And this is going to be the final time he goes on screen. So I have a perfect ending. Like, you should have a perfect ending. Did you, did you get that with Rambo? You know what? Uh, it, it seems good. I'm fine with it. And then Arnold lose, I mean, then Arnold leaves the room. You're slow. Motherfucker. Uh, uh, give me a random now. I don't care what it is. What the, what the plot, sir? Who gives a shit? <laughs> I like, I remember, that, like, remember that stuff, Betty? Betty, remember that script I said no to? Yeah, I'm saying yes to it. Look, look now here's the thing. Look, look right now, they both see the movie. Here's Arnold. Why did you make that film? Because you wouldn't make the Terminator. And here's I'm a, just... I, look, because you said you'd make the Terminator, you lied to me. No, I actually am. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you to quit. What the fuck are you doing? I believe it. Like, I wasn't trolling this time. I, I honest. I don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no, is it, no, no, seriously, seriously. Sly, Sly, Sly. If I was trolling you, if I was really, really trolling you, I would have trolled you by saying I'm making true lies too. Mm, I mean, oh, that's a good one. I mean, I mean, it, no, 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 hold on. See, hold on. I could have said Commando 2. I could have said True Lies 2. I could have said Eraser 2. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh. I'm making a sequel to The Sixth Day, calling it The Seventh Day. Before my character comes <laughs> back alive as the Antichrist. Oh, shit. You know, yeah, nobody's oh, coming. No, no, hold on, hold on. End of Days. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I'm doing a sequel to End of Days. I'm calling it, I'm calling it uh, The Beginning of Nights. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, no, no. Here's the worst part. Here's the worst part of all of that. It's like, look, here's the long. Like, well, I guess you got me. Like, I like, well, there's two times you got me, man. Actually, it's four times, but nobody's counting. <laughs> <laughs> guess I do Rambo Five Electro Boogaloo. Oh, boy. all so, right. So yeah, we all got our we all got our scores for this. And honestly, I'm not even trying to turn this into like a long winded rant and review uh, of, of this movie because it just isn't worth it this movie this movie again i'm saying it i'm saying it again this movie is very problematic it has so much potential to be way better than what we got and on in all honesty if you had to have a choice of watching rambo 4 or rambo 5 i highly recommend just watch 4 just if watch you want 4. a better <laughs> if you want a better story if you want a better story to I mean to actually end off rambo watch 4 yeah, watch that. Uh, just watch your eyes out of this movie and just watch Rainbow Four and just pretend that the Rainbow Four was the finale and not Rainbow Five, and you'll be fine. Because that's really what it comes down now, to. Now, only thing I can recommend, the only thing I can honestly recommend, is when the clip comes out, you look for it on YouTube of him going, of Rainbow going into the brothel and just beating everybody with Stanley. There you go. So hammer to again. When in doubt, hammer to the dick. Yeah, no matter how painful it is. Side note, too, I actually was expecting the aunt to help out Rambo. Like, she's the old lady with the shotgun in the house. Like, get out of here! You know, like, you like really... That. See, 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 now, now, CJ, you're invoking stop or my mom will shoot antics. I mean, you might as well, given the movie, so, you know. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, that's it. And we will... Catch you guys later for another review. Probably on Joker. That'll probably be the next one we do. So, anyway, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Bye.
Thank you.